this is a wonderful uh, experience and learning that really fueled my career um, and this if i remember rightly dates back to 91 or 1992 uh, i mean is that uh, fresh or vintage how how we will want to take it see i was on a uh, i had my own uh, computer maintenance company at that time by name of unisonic consultants it was founded uh, on 10th of october 1989 and it was there for 10 years and we were controlling almost uh, two thirds of maharashtra as far as uh, customer base is concerned typically we were uh, having amc contracts for more than about 190 to 200 unix networks across uh, vidarbha and marathwada and we built that company on trust and we built that company on being logical on the field one of the uh, major experience that really helped me to build this company at uh, the beginning was i was traveling to madhya pradesh uh, at that time it was madhya pradesh now it is chatisgarh so on a, a pre sales cold call because if you are if it's your business you need to do cold call and get customers this was the customer was in raipur and uh, i'd gone on my bike to raipur to meet this customer because that was the only fastest way that i could meet my customers we had discussion we did spoke and the customer agreed to entrust his uh, maintenance of computer and network with us and on a happy note i was uh, coming back but in the same cabin when where the meeting was getting conducted there was another another gentleman sitting who was very quiet so that was a big question mark who is he is he from compliance team or what is his role in my customer's uh, environment but that was not defined till we had an agreement that okay unisonic consultants uh, there is a possibility that this company maintains and manages our network so once i said tada bye bye and i want to leave the, the cabin this gentleman started speaking mm-hmm. can you solve network problems i said that is what we are here for i mean we consider solving and troubleshooting approach as our key skills can you come to our plant and solve the problem yes i can come and try my hands at it mm-hmm. remember companies like uh, i won't uh, sorry uh, rishikesh i will not name the company but one of the largest it company at that time had failed to solve that problem and they were trying it for multiple months together and customers production then figures were, were getting in, impacted this was a steel industry and their erp used to fail at a certain time in certain part of the plant i uh, went and i said that okay um, to understand the actual problem to really dissect into what's happening and when it's happening i would need to stay at the plant so they made arrangement for me to stay and i was alone i had only four or five engineers in my office but they were at nagpur and other places i said let me do it myself let us lead by example this is a good opportunity to really prove yourself and get some respect in, into industry so what i did was i said i just need one person from your side technical non technical doesn't matter who will take me through the plan all the areas not only the area which gets affected but entire plan so there was a good walk at that time full day walking through the plants and areas and talking to laborers people the operators the computer people and everything and then i came back to that uh, guest house room i took out my writing pad and started writing my experience and uh, during the day what i realized is there is a particular time slot at a particular area that something goes wrong then i talked with the process manager over there who was heading all the operational process of the plant so there was a branch of network which used to develop a lot of latency and their erp failed to work so that the incoming steel at that time was not recorded or it was getting delayed and that had a cascading chain effect on the production so i went into trenches of cabling jumped into a lot of pitfalls over there and discovered that since it's a steel industry the unloading from the wagon and truck was done by electromagnetic cranes and that was their loading time when the erp failed in that zone so the cabling that time it was a coaxial cable not ethernet so coaxial cable used to get 
induced with magnetism and EMF was cre getting created and yes. the network stopped working. So what we did is uh, that large company, IT company who was solving that problem had asked customer to redesign the network backbone and whatnot, right, from the server level to everything. I said, nothing do it. I can solve this issue in next six hours. Just give me labor and the issue will be solved. They said, you're talking about a hat, such a big company with so many technically qualified experience in India could not do it. And I said, if they are not able to do it, the problem still lies over there. Why not give a try and chance? I am confident that I'll deliver it. Mm. You see the result. If it works, mm. pay for it. If it doesn't, it's a learning curve for everybody. So what we did is, mm. we disconnected the network at mm. a logical point and rerouted the cable mm. underground again. And that is what was going to take about four hours. I put two hours as buffer. And we did that cabling. They asked me to stay in the plant for next three days mm. for that time frame to come. And it worked beautifully on that time. The problem was solved. So solving the problem, you have to understand the environment in which it gets created. It's not always uh, technology and IP addresses and things like that. It could be the site-oriented issues. It could be the environment issues which impact technology. I mean, if I would have thought from a technology angle, maybe or may not be the success wouldn't have been there. I took myself out of my technology thinking hat and thought like a normal human being sort of a you know uh, there are uncapped players in uh, cricket team on the particular day given day they come and score a century mm -hmm. so it was quite comparable and that got us uh, got me a lot of learning and ability to really propel myself to think out of the box and really try and make an impact or at least try for it.